everybody! Welcome back to some more Downright Dumb. It's been a, it's been a little bit. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna tell you why that is really quick, because you may notice that we are in a totally different part of the game than we were last time. We have witch hats, and we're five levels higher. Uh, and that is because... We're I, really bad at this game. I suck the big one. Uh, and not this game. Well, yes, but particularly <laughs> the the uh, game in general of recording, recording video games. Video and, games. Yeah. yeah. So we, we did two recording sessions. The first one, there was... The, the face cam was on, which fucked everything up. So we up. literally couldn't use that. So we couldn't use that one at all because I can't get rid of the face cam because it renders it into the video. Um, so yeah, that, that had to be scrapped, which sucked. But that bit we could kind of re-record. So we did another session and we're like, alright, we'll re-record this, alright? It sounds sounds good, we'll, we'll do it. And then the mic didn't work, so... And we got to God a point where it. we couldn't go back, so we're just stuck yeah. here. Basically what happened in the, in the story, um, we killed the forest. Yes. Not really. Uh, we, no, we killed the entity that was spooking the forest pretty severely, and yeah. then the, the witch doctor was like, here, I got gotcha. you. Essentially, then we just killed that it. last thing that we had to kill, that last monster. Yeah. So we beat the forest part. And then we went up here, and then this is a, the temple that we were supposed to put the thing at in, like, the beginning of the game. Yeah, this little pad here, you know, we were supposed to place a plaid... Uh, Nice. A pad. We placed it here, and then the whole fucking castle took off, and now we're in the air flying. So, it's, uh, it's pretty good. I think that's about it. Oh, and we got witch hats, because we solved a puzzle and got some fucking witch hats, and it was pretty good. So, yeah, um, now we're gonna go here. And so apparently, yeah. the whole story behind this thing is there was a secret... All we know so far is there was a secret doohickey, right? Uh, yes. Uh, and by that, I mean there was a secret man who kill a lot of people, and then they try to make a robots to kill him. Shucks. Yeah, yeah, the Gundam... Here, let's read the computer screens. Let's kill these guys and then reread the computer screens. But yeah, so you guys didn't miss a whole lot. We're sorry about that. We'll try and stop that from happening in the future. But, uh, technical difficulties. Lots of them. We're, we gotta get this shit figured out. Okay, let me read this. Um... We live in dark times. The Master Collector has finally gone mad. Shucks. Rumors speak of entire villages ruins. Hundreds dead. This used to be his peaceful research facility, but for how long? For how long? I feel like we've been there. For how long? And then we went in here. And yeah, then I there was a big machinery, and we activate that, and then there's a door thing Yeah, this over is here. the thing that made us take off. We went into this temple, and we're like, hey, what's this big old thing? And we hit some buttons, and then the whole fucking castle went into space. Yep. So that's, that's pretty neato. All right, let's go. Um, where are we going? But yeah, now we actually have a boss to fight for this episode, which will be interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so guess what we just did, y'all? And last time we said that, it was we we had spent like six hours not recording. We do that all the time. What the fuck is this thing? Oh, God. Yeah, this wasn't here before, was it? What the fuck are you? What the hell? His neck is like floaty. He's but, spooky bird, man. So I mentioned in a Chill Build Sundays episode a while back that uh, I was going to do an Ollie Ollie video where I did like real skateboarding tricks. Like I tried to do the Ollie Ollie tricks. Oh, my Ollie God. Tricks, and we just recorded that. Yeah, we did, yeah. Why does this guy have so much health? No spoilers. Oh, he did. All right, cool. But, well, Chase helped me record the, the skateboarding parts, not the gameplay parts. Um, it's gonna be like another Goofs and Giggles video, but yeah, no spoilers, but it's gonna be great, and you're gonna want to watch it. It's, yeah, it's gonna do. be very meme -y. Yeah, so now we're both... Well, I'm tired from fucking falling repeatedly. Yeah, it turns I, out Adam is really bad at skateboarding. I fucking died so many times. I'm like actually in pain, but then I'm also just kind of tired from... We... So, we, we were hanging out the other day, Chase... Brayden and I. Br Brayden's a friend of ours. He's been in some videos, I think. We were all hanging out at like 9 at night on a Tuesday, and we were like, Hey, dude, let's go see Deadpool. And and I had already seen it, and I was like, let's go see Deadpool as well, because that's how good it was. And it was really late on a school night, and like, we were out... Ah, so I'm, my sleep schedule's still fucked. Well, yeah. we want to talk about that movie a little bit. Oh my god, dude, Deadpool. That shit was very good. Oh, here, I, hold up. Let's if you haven't this. seen Deadpool and you're old enough to see it because it is rated R, go see it. Thank you, Marvel, for finally making an R-rated movie. Okay, let's read this, and then we're going to talk about it a little bit. We were approached by the council today. They wanted our help in fighting my... <laughs> I am not surprised, but it makes me less, no less anxious. Aline agrees, the sweet girl, however you fucking pronounce that. Aline? Yeah, she, I think you she, got it. She's worried about her family down below, and not for no reason. And per perhaps it's Aline. Who knows? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Alright, there we go. But yeah, so Deadpool, that shit, I, I had pretty high expectations going in. Like, I was expecting it to be good. And then I saw it, and it was so much better than I was expecting. Like, holy yeah, it shit. it was excellent time. What is this fucking black hole? What the hell? None of this shit was here last time. Yeah, no, I was expecting it to be mostly jokes, and it was a lot of jokes. There was... there. It was... 
It was a yeah, lot. It was like at least 20% joke. Yeah, I'd say more than that. It, the, the ratio of joke to story was very good. Like, I was expecting all jokes, but there was actually, like, legit character development, and they managed to make us care about a character who is invincible, which is hard to do. Like, he's fighting people, and you're like, oh shit, I hope nothing happens. But even you know that he's gonna die. die. But the way that they did it was they made, like, his. His special interest, um, like mortal, and they can they like connected the two a lot. Yeah, so they made it like so really it, intense. You know, like, for yeah, his exactly. Special other, yeah, they really yeah. wanted him to do well in the fights, not because just survive. Because they developed this big old story of him and another person. We're trying to avoid spoilers, and then they put that other person in jeopardy repeatedly, so that we cared about Deadpool a little bit, which sounds generic the way we're describing it, but they did a, they did it really well. And yeah. managed to make us feel about a character, feel for a character who is really hard to care about. Not necessarily care about, but like, like I don't know, empathize with, you know? Yeah. You feel? But yeah, no, super good. The first half of the movie, I'm not going to spoil anything, but the first half of the movie is mostly character development. Uh, do we want to explain what happened in the Yeah, this room? is, well, we can't do it really, but this thing shot a beam at us and it had basically um, made us, it made us, it made... Here, I'll read Sh this. It I'll made this. fucking sure this. that we were able to do a, sp a specific thing to fight against this next yeah. boss. Let's read. It, it taught us a mechanic of the boss before it sent us in. Welcome which is to neat. Combat ma Training Module Perfect Guard. Yeah. A perfect guard is performing a block of a we should. <laughs> Why do I always yawn at the worst possible <laughs> yeah, moments? No, whenever you start reading, you yawn. It's weird. Uh, but yeah, a perfect guard is performed when you block an attack with your shield at the last moment. A perfect, perfect guard, guard reduces shield damage, damage by 50% and can sometimes have special effects when used against certain attacks. Uh, yeah! <laughs> If you use a skill right after a perfect guard, it will automatically change charge to, to, to if you use a basic attack, it will be guaranteed to critical strike. <laughs> nice. Progress in the training course is denied unless until and yep. Please please stand on the point to begin the test. Your goal is to complete the projectile. Alright, come here. Uh, let's see if I can make it do it. I can't. But yeah, so this thing shot a beam at us and we had to knock it back. But now we have got a little boss fight to do. So why did we need to know that mechanic? Is that it's because we're supposed to use it on this boss, but fuck that. Yeah, no, we weren't, and we were doing fine. Pew pew. Like, we pew almost pew. beat him. <laughs> McD has arrived. Okay, we got him this Data time. Database match. Database match. I and like that sentient container. <laughs> Allegiance. <laughs> <laughs> it's a robot voice, but with an accent. Action. Immediate determination. <laughs> Unlock weapons. I love this Combat song. set protocol, Marissa. <laughs> oh my god, Chase, that's... <laughs> it's so good. It's my favorite. Phase Man. All right, here we All go. Right, well, boys. I have 50 HP and you have like 10, so we're probably Lovely. not gonna beat it this time. Awesome. But yeah, everyone, go watch Deadpool if you haven't seen yep, it. Yep, I'm dead. I'm gonna die very soon. <laughs> and everyone, go see it like six times so that we can throw money at Marvel so that they will make more R-rated movies because they need to see that it's financially viable. And I'm dead and cool. <laughs> Yeah, if we, we need to we need to make sure that this sort of format for a superhero movie with like, like yokes, with like yeah, with yokes, like my all, guy. all sorts of good shit in it, and also like some adult content so that you're not like, wow, that's hilarious. That guy got punched. <laughs> that's some comedy right there. Whoa, dude. Yeah, no, we need to because the big movie studios think that R-rated movies for the most part are not viable, especially superhero movies because. There are a lot of yeah, because they're like, oh, only young children watch this shit. Which is, well, I mean, I don't think they think that way because they like focus a lot on accuracy for the fans and stuff. But they do need to, they need to be like, shit, dude, we can actually make a lot of money if these are R-rated. You feel? God yeah. fucking shit! You're so good at this, dude. I'm the best, dude. Uh, and I did, we did like no damage to him and all that time. What is that noise? What was that? He was making a dink a dink as a he dink -a -dink? was. A dink a dink. Yeah. <laughs> the badink a dink. Badonk a donk. Badonk a dink. Oh god. I like his I like his mohawk. Whoa, his mohawk turns green when he's about to shoot. I think it's that's literally just a head crystal, but yeah. It's it's supposed to look like a mohawk. Oh I thought I thought the green thing was supposed to like be like a tell that he's about to do something, but I don't think it is. I think it's just like a visual thing. Or no, it kinda is a tell. Fuck! Fuck! We died at the, like the exact We're same So one. bad. <laughs> Alright, oh, let's do this shit. Okay, but everyone think Imagine with me for a for a brief momento an R-rated fucking um what was that Avengers movie an R-rated Avengers movie yeah that shit would be amazing and it fits Deadpool too like super well because he's just that type of character that like I doubt they'll do that and all right well I lost bros. connection so we're good <laughs> oh, no, I'm back I boys. doubt they'll ever do that but maybe I don't know something dude. like similar to that it if doesn't necessarily have to be an R-rated Avengers movie but if like there's more a chance that that could happen more, more Deadpool please stuff. yeah. And Deadpool 2, hype 
hype. Hopefully they won't fuck it up, because this one was just fantastic. Oh god, like I, I watched um Yeah, hopefully they hopefully they don't try to do some different shit next time and make it awful. Like, uh, dude, let's mix it up. Like I they need to do different shit. Like Well but no, it? they don't like fuck they me, don't like, fuck the formula by being like, Wow, innovation and then yeah, they no. just ruin the whole movie. Yeah, no, course. they want they need to differ it enough. Make that sure it, to just hold start oh, to skip yeah, this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They need to they need to like differ the plot and stuff, of course. Yeah, yeah. But But um, not make it like they need to stick literally with the formula because it's great. And the fourth wall breakage in this, like for, breaking a fourth wall in movies is kind of it's hard no one to ever do. does never no one ever does it it's well it's harder to basically. do than in a game or in a book or something like that um, it's harder to do well it's it's hard to do well in a movie um but this fucking movie nailed it which i was very very yeah happy and like about. that's like most of deadpool's character which is so it's really important that they got that right and they yeah, totally did they, so. they got it really really well done and the uh what's the what's the main actor's name he was a perfect fit ryan for reynolds it. ryan the, reynolds and, and i was expecting it to be like another fucking like Green Lantern style movie, which Ryan Reynolds <laughs> was the lead actor in, and I was like, oh please no. Please but it actually was like way not that, so that's better good time. Oh, I'm dead. Cheesy Pete's Fuck right. me! Ah, oh, this boss could take us years. But yeah, I watched uh, your movie sucks review of it, and one of his points, one I of his things. I haven't seen that, and I'm kind of sad. It's good. You should watch it. He yeah. like it's not a, a your movie sucks episode, so it's not jokes, it's my a guy. Quickie. But yeah, it's a quickie, so it's like an actual review. I love YMS. Everyone, if you want some really good film reviews, go watch YMS. He's he's quite the fella. It's pretty good. Um, but yeah, no. In his review, he said that he he wasn't able to empathize with the character very well, which which is kind of the point. Like I, no, well, no, not like, the point, but it's like. Which, like, no, that's what we were talking about, though, because I totally well, was able to empathize with him through, like, that whole intro, that whole beginning thing, like... The only thing is, I found it hard to empathize with him because he was fucking crazy, and, like, I just don't yeah, really maybe, relate to the character at all, but, like, that is what I think meaning. it was really cool, just no, in general, and, like, the moments where he's super emotional, I totally was, like, feeling him. I was like, oh, yeah, that's for, that's very sad times. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, no. And you can kind of, like, they provide context for why he's fucking crazy a yeah. little bit. God damn it. All right, well, Ugh. I'm guessing that, you know, I'm going to go gonna be this. going, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try to kill this guy now, and if I can't, then rip. Yep. Hey, would you look at that? Surprise, you can't. <laughs> and Bye. that looks like the end. Of, no, yep. that's the end of the episode. Thanks for watching, boys. Bye.